Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. And today we're going to talk about tires and which one is the right choice for you. So let me tell you more about it. Wrong way. All right, so whether you choose a in motion, electric wheel, King Song, Gotway, most of the times you don't have a choice on the tire selection on your wheel. The only company that offers you a choice between a street tire and a off-road tire currently is Veteran Sherman. And as the process of changing a tire is very tedious and it's kind of hard to select a tire for your ESC, I thought I'd get out of my way and give you some tips and tricks on which tire, which size, and if you even need to change a tire on your electric unicycle. Now, for the smaller UCs like the 9Bot 1S2 that I'm still up for review, and for example the Gotway Tesla V2, I wouldn't really recommend changing tires that much. There is not such a wide selection of tires for these smaller wheels and I don't necessarily think that there is a big need to change a tire for an off-road tire in a Galway Tesla which has a very low pedal clearance. Now you can do it and there are some options you can read on forums to put a bigger beefier tire on it but I wouldn't really recommend doing that. But as far as it goes for bigger wheels I mean 16 inches and up I mean 16 by 3 inches because the Tesla is 16 inches but it's a very narrow, very narrow tire. You do have some options to select a tire that would last longer or perform better in certain conditions. Now before we get into my favorite tire now here on the MSP I have to tell you a bit about the sizing of these wheels because it's not as straightforward as it seems. For the 16 inch wheels most of the time you will get a Chinese CST tire or some sort of like a scooter tire which has a size 16 by 3 inches. Now it's important because 16 inches is the outer diameter of the tire. So for these smaller uh, wheels, which like the Kingsong 16X, uh, the Inmotion V12, well, not really a smaller wheel because it's kind of big, but 16 by 3 inch uh, diameter tire of the outer diameter, usually you'll get a Chinese tire with the same dimensions as you know the outer diameter of the tire. Now it is also possible to get a cross tire like a motocross tire for it and then the dimensions would be 12 and a half inches by 2.75 or 3. I played around with off-road tires for the Nikola a bit in the past and you can check out a video here uh, with the off-road tire on uh, my Nikola. It was a 12 and a half by 3 inches. However, it's kind of difficult to find the right tire at this size without it rubbing against the inner shell. So then you have to like maybe mod the shell a little or just uh, sand off the thread where, where it's just too wide. For the 16 inch uh, wheels I would rather recommend getting a different sort of CST tire or different sort of Chinese 16 by 3 inch tire to either increase your grip, the ride quality or the longevity of um, of your tire. But let's get back to the sizing as I think that the most popular wheels for tire changes would be like a MSP, the RS, EX, EXN, Veteran Sherman, all of these wheels that have a 14 inch rim. Now uh, the outer diameter can range from 18 inches to 20 inches but um, the rim is 14 inches. So if you want to get the right tire size for a MSP or any of these wheels I mentioned it has to be either like this high to now 80 let me see if it's focused 80 by 90 14 inch, a City Pro or like a Conti Scoot tire, whatever. This is one option. Or the one that I have here on the MSP is the CST C186 14 inch 275. So either this 80, 90, 14 or 14 by 2.75 or 2.75 by 14 is the correct tire size for the MSP. Which is kind of misleading because if you get the stock tire it's a 18 inch by 3, which is like the 
outer diameter. So keep that in mind when selecting a tire for your wheel. Now this was as funny as it seems, kind of ha hard to grasp for me at the beginning. So I went with tires that don't really fit my wheel, like this V rubber thing that was uh, 80, 80 by 14. And then I had a very narrow tire, which led to the MSP riding like a Tesla. So the wider the tire, the better it will turn, but also the more train tracking it will have. So if you get a tire like this, or like the tire I fitted before to the MSP, the C803, 14 by two and a half inches, so just a quarter inch narrower, your experience will decrease dramatically as not only will the width be different, but also the amount of rubber, which I'll demonstrate here, will be smaller. So you'll have a smaller pedal clearance and you'll need to run a higher pressure in order not to damage the rim. So yeah, just keep that in mind. If you have any tire recommendations, by the way, feel free to put them down in the comment section below and I'll also add them into the pinned comments. So you have also a selection of tires that other riders have tried and like. All right, so let's move on. Why would you want to change a tire on your wheel. Well, first of all, if you do a lot of off-roading and you have some loose surfaces or you just need a stronger tire, because as you can see, this stock CST is just like very easy. <laughs> you, had, you need really a high pressure in order not to damage the rim. Then you would want to get a, a tube tire like the CST C186 or the Shinko 244 or the Kenda K262. Now, I know it's a lot of names, but I want to be really specific here because it's easy to get a wrong tire for your wheel. And if you have a thread like this, like the veteran Sherman, naturally your turning will be not as good. You will have a bigger turning radius and you'll have to lean the EUC more to turn the same way. However, you will get tons more grip off-road because this tire just digs into the soil, sort of. I also think that the rubber here is much better than on the stock tire. This thing uh, can wear off uh, after 2,000 kilometers, 3,000 kilometers. And I have a similar tire on my Sherman with very high speeds and it's still just fine even after 5,000 kilometers. So this sort of tire will have a way longer lifespan than the stock CST tire, which is on the Emotion V11. The same thing is on the, um, I don't know, Kingsong S18, it's always so, sort of changes. And I think now, both on the EX and the RS, the stock tire will be actually this uh, knobby tire, which is really cool. However, if you bought a wheel before by Gotway, High chances this is the tire you'll get. Uh, so off-road tire is one direction you can go and this just barely really fits into the shell. Uh, it drops not in the front but in the back a little. So I could either sand off the uh, shell a little or just sand off the thread. I just think at some point it will stop, hopefully. If you have an RS, however, you shouldn't have any problem. Same thing goes to the EXN and you can also fit this tire to the V11 and I'm not sure if it fits to the Kingston S18. Just let me know in the comments if it does. This is also the tire that the guys from Seattle use. Cheers, Mike uh, Leahy. And yeah, I, I just, I'm just in love with this tire. It's the best tire I've ever put on the AEUC. Yes, it doesn't turn maybe as sharply, it doesn't allow me to turn as sharply as the city tire which is the you know cst but it gives me tons and tons of grip it's really awesome off-road and it's very durable yeah I, I just love it you can also go the other way around and you can get more of a durable city tire so the selection there uh, also watt rides uses it on his veteran Sherman. cheers watt rides at uh, cheers um, which is the 80 90 14 Michelin City Pro, I believe. And so, so you can also get this tire to get like a smoother ride. Most of the time, all of these, you know, motorcycle tires will be heavier. So you will have a decrease of range because this is just like super light. And oh, this is much heavier, this hide now tire. Uh, but it improves stability and especially like a knobby tire, it improves stability a lot. So 
I also have this hide and out tire which I wanted to fit to the EX. I nev never actually tried it out. Um, don't have any opinion on those, but some guys use it on their MSPs. Pretty good rain tire uh, and also 1890, 80 by 90, uh, 14 tire. Also much heavier. So yeah, that's that. So you can also try, and I've got this info from one of my uh, subscribers who wrote to me on Instagram. Uh, you can also make these tires tubeless. So all of those EUCs have tube tires and if you fit a new tire, you also need to like massage into place. You have to like put it, put the wheel on the side, preferably with a low pressure, just turn the wheel, see, if it has you know any wobbles in this direction or in this direction just need to like check if it's correctly seated and i've heard that the tubeless mod makes life a lot more easier so you just have to install a separate valve onto onto the rim and hope that <laughs> the rest of the rim is uh, also properly sealed but you can do that too let me know in the comments if you did that i didn't try it out yet but that's another thing people in the electric wheel world are doing. I guess uh, that's it. Learn from my uh, mistakes of buying wrong tires. Uh, once, once again, I'll just blend in here on the screen what are the correct sizes for your electric unicycle. And I hope you'll find this video useful and maybe you'll try out a new tire because maybe you're tired of it. So if you're still here, leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.